and 3D modeling software often requires a dedicated and powerful machine equipped with expensive CPU and GPU hardware that can be cost prohibitive for certain users. At Navteca, we've explored a cost-effective alternative in the form of Amazon Workspaces, a cloud-based virtual desktop service which can be provisioned to provide a powerful 3D modeling workspace that a user can pay to access only as often as they require. To test this, Navteca performed multiple tests of the 3D modeling software Blender using different configurations of the Amazon Workspace's resources. The least expensive tier provided too little computing power to comfortably handle the workload of a 3D engine. But we found the higher tiers to perform perfectly, giving us access to a capable workspace on par with a custom-built desktop designed to work in 3D. This level of Amazon Workspace comes with a more powerful CPU and a greater amount of RAM, both of which are essential to the performance-heavy tasks of 3D modeling. Amazon Workspace's higher configuration tiers also allow access to a dedicated graphics processing unit, or GPU, which provides for faster operations performed on the GPU itself, often resulting in greater speeds versus operations that would normally require more of the CPU. We chose to focus our tests more on performance than on rendering in particular, because there are a number of cloud-based 3D rendering solutions that could take over this step for the 3D workflow. But in the case of simple renders, maybe single images or brief animations, this workspace proved fast enough to compete adequately with a dedicated machine, which makes it suitable for rendering in cases where it would be preferable to keep all of the work on a single service. To test this virtual desktop, I performed a series of 3D modeling tasks. These included traditional polygon modeling like you might see in architectural modeling or 3D print production, and high polygon 3D sculpture, which can push the number of polygons a model requires into the tens of millions. Throughout these tests, the workspace desktop stayed fast and responsive, on par with a dedicated local machine. Although there's always some internet latency associated with cloud-based virtual desktops, the latency in this case seemed small enough that it didn't interfere with the workflow in any noticeable way. Overall, the Amazon Workspace provided a completely comfortable 3D modeling machine, which stood up well to any of the tests that we designed for it. As can probably be expected, I would strongly recommend the higher configurations with greater CPU, RAM, and GPU offerings, as these made the difference between a workspace that felt underpowered and one that felt comfortable and responsive. But once these resources were provisioned, the overall experience felt on par with a dedicated local graphics machine. The workspace's approach also comes with the huge benefit of being able to be brought online and dismissed as soon as one is finished working with it, so that a user is paying only for the time that they require on that kind of a machine. We believe that solutions like Amazon Workspaces offer powerful and cost-effective alternatives to the traditional costs which are associated with 3D work and hardware. This gives users a flexible custom desktop upon which to install and use any Windows or Linux-based software that they require. Although we've used Blender for these tests, we hope this illustrates the potential utility of this virtual desktop for what could just as easily be any other 3D modeling application. Thanks for watching and please reach out to us with any questions.